What is up, everyone? Renfail here, back with another episode of Silo. Again, I'm a little bit behind when these episodes release because I just watch this when I get spare time. This is episode six. I think episode seven has already aired for sure. Did episode eight already air? I might be two weeks behind their live uh, coverage, but um, I've really enjoyed this show, and it's been a very slow show to get into. But this episode, episode six, was the first episode of the season where I felt like, finally, I'm feeling justified in the patience to get here, because I felt like this is the best episode of the season so far, uh, both in terms of um, Rebecca Ferguson and her performance. Just This was the first episode where I really felt like I was feeling um, Juliet's character. And a lot of that was just the relationship stuff going on with George in this episode, which is all, you know, past stuff. But the way she portrays it, I just felt the acting was really good in this episode. We also got revelations about some things, which kind of adds to the mystery box layers, but also is like, oh, there's much more going on here. You guys better not be leaving me with that cliffhanger and not a season two, because this easily has a few seasons in it. And I understand that it's based on a book series, which has done very well. I, I read up on the guy, I still don't know his name, forgive me, but I, I read up on the guy the other day and realized that, okay, so this was like the first book series, the first big book series that a self-published author um, had on Amazon, and it was allowed him to leverage a deal with publishers Um and like, okay, well, you can cover the print versions. I'm going to keep controlling the ebook stuff. But if you guys want a piece of this pie, I'm happy to share it with you. You guys cover print costs, and we'll share in that together. Um, and then that sort of just expanded, expanded, expanded into lots of different things for this uh, for the writer. And kudos to him for making that happen because it's it's rare for self-published authors to have that level of success. So it was really cool to to read up on. And it also, you know, when I'm looking at that going, oh my God, there's, you know, half a dozen or so books that they could easily pull from. And I don't know because I've never read the book series, how many books they're pulling from to create this show right here. Um, anyways, let me stop rambling. I'm two and a half minutes in. I haven't even gotten to this episode yet. Episode six, spoiler alert. I'm two weeks behind the curve or however long it is. You probably don't need those, but just in case, go watch the episode first. Um, and I may forget some stuff, but uh, I don't have show notes. So... Uh, the thing I really took away from this episode was we had a chance to explore Juliet's relationship with George. And that is a good and a bad thing. Because as they're going into this investigation, they're trying to find out the person behind Marnes getting murdered. Um, and go to his apartment, find a relic, um, and... Um, I'm trying to remember everything that happened. There's so much that happened. Um, they find a relic in the guy's apartment, and that gets Juliet a meeting with ju the judge, Judge Meadows, to um, open up a relics investigation. And when that happens, her deputy, who's been she's been saddled with, in her opinion, um, he's like, "What the hell? You just planted evidence, and I found that evidence. And you, this is all so that you could find more out about George." And so he feels very used. He's like, I have a wife, I have a kid, you know, I have, and then she's like, yeah, and you're, and you've got the syndrome, right? And she points at him and says, his hand, his hand is sick. And he's like, you shouldn't even be here, blah, 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 blah. You know, you're going to keep my secret because I'm going to keep your secret. So it was a very much a, an interesting scenario where, you know, Juliet's not above going beyond the law to do anything for her loved one, right? And this whole backstory with her and remembering her relationship with George was him constantly talking about, you know, the big questions. And during one of the flashbacks, they asked the question, well, what's the biggest question of all? And he answers um, that what if everything we know to be true, told to us by all the people we love in our lives, what if 100% of that was just a lie? And... You know, he's talking about they're in the silo for a purpose and it's all, you know, all this stuff. And so that sends her, you know, that's that's her driving core. So during this investigation, you know, she's having these flashback moments um, to these conversations and really reminiscing about the relationship she had with George until 
their investigation um, hits a dead end because she gets called into a room with the mayor and Sims, like the, the, the guy played by Common from Judicial. And the relic that they found in that apartment was like the one she planted was something given to her by George. And this starts this whole investigation where uh, Judicial wants her to go on this search for relics. They tell her that she's approved for it. And in the process of this, they meet up with George's old girlfriend. And this is where everything Juliet knows gets thrown up in, into the flames. And this is why I was saying this was the episode where I really felt for her as an actress and really felt like I was in Juliet's, like I was feeling everything that that character was portraying. Because when they interview the ex, she was this high, high class person in the silo society with aunts and uncles and everything else and connections and money. And basically George used, she feels that George used her to get all the relics that he became known for dealing because she was the one getting those. She was the buyer, getting them from aunts and uncles and all these different places to help George. And then ultimately, George became obsessed with this, this backstory of there has to be something beyond. And that led him to go down deeper into the silo and abandon her as a, as a girlfriend. And so she, you know, she feels a lot of resentment towards George, but it also calls into question everything that Juliet knows about George because this girl's like, hey, he's just using you the way he used me to get relics and to dive deeper into this obsession of his. And so she's, you know, Juliet's like, did I, was, is that what happened? Was George really not the man I thought he was? Um, and she really has doubts to the point where she actually, th she's talking about resigning and going home with the old lady who lives in the cage. And the old lady's like, what changed? You know, you went up there for love and now you're coming back for anger. That's fear, and I've already been down the road of fear, and that's why I've lived in this cage for like 30 years because I'm afraid to go out. You know, don't be that person. Stay with, stay up there, and do what you said you were gonna do, which was find out what happened to George. So she ultimately decides to save it. The emotional pulls that Juliet is feeling in this episode were very evident. I actually teared up a couple of times. It was a really good episode. But also. Um, Juliet goes back to the ex's house and she's like, no, 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 no. Now you're going to tell me the truth. Not what you told me in front of the judicial guy and my deputy. You're going to tell me the truth. You're the one who ratted George out, weren't you? And she's like, she tells this story about how, yeah, like my grandmother or her mother, I forget, it was her mother. She's like, my mother was in the mines. And for every name that I gave judicial, they took a year off of her life in the mines and, and allowed her to, you know, a year off her sentence so ab absolutely i gave people up for things but especially george because he you know he ruined what's her. up everybody commercial break here i gotta give a shout out to our guild champions it's the highest tier membership here on youtube we got ancient entity craziest relative and remy d thanks so much for your support and of course to all of the members here on youtube thanks for keeping me on the air full time if you do like what you see and hear on my channel, don't forget to not only like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon, but please support. Consider me your Netflix, your Hulu, your Disney Plus, or HBO, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you can do memberships here on the channel, starting at $3 a month. And of course, anytime you see me live or you watch a premiere, you can do super chats and stickers on those videos. And super thanks on any upload you see which allows me to keep doing this full-time and paying the bills. So from Chris and I and all of our rescue cats, we say thank you. Let's get back to the video at hand. You know, he ruined my life. And she talks about how she's been living alone all these years and everything else, but then she goes into conspiracy, ter conspiracy theory territory, like the old lady that Juliet knows, and like turns on a fan and puts like a leather belt in there so it makes noise and she's like they'll hear you and she's like the man in the dark she's like judicial comes in the day the man in the night comes and asks you all sorts of questions and she talks about how this man showed up and all these things and he was behind everything and he was always looking for answers and then she reveals uh, because Juliet's like what did George trade for the hard drive because Juliet still wants to know what's on the hard drive and that hard drive was like the big score of George's life so knowing that she knows that he had to give up something super valuable to get that hard drive. So um, Juliet asks the ex-girlfriend, what did he give up for the hard drive? And she reveals this um, leather-bound book in a leather case and tells her this has been in George's family, you know, in the family for generations, passed down, passed down, passed down, proof that there was a time before the silo and, and all this other stuff. Don't 
say anything aloud when you read it because they'll hear it and this is like the only secret that we've ever been able to keep from them and it's this what's in this book so Juliet goes home shocked and weirdly you know like what's going on here unwraps this thing and it's a picture book from the tourism board of Georgia talking about like welcome to Georgia and you flip through the book and it has all the sights and scenes from Georgia so she sees she sees hiking trails people taking boats down the river you know with six or eight people in a boat she sees pictures of animals and and dolphins and all this other stuff a sunset on a beach which just mystifies her um, because there's so much water and everything and so this is of the time of what she has envisioned she's like you know of of what well what she's you know what the previous policeman's wife envisioned all that stuff that's old news by now um but these things you know so eh, as she's seen that and you're like oh yeah secret the camera this is this is the mind the mind fuck of this episode the camera then starts to pull back and you're feeling very emotionally connected to to Juliet as she's looking at this thing and feeling all these emotions and the camera continues to pull back and continues to pull back and suddenly we realize we're watching Juliet through a through a television monitor and it pulls back and we see lots of other television monitors set up all over the place throughout the silo and we pull back and we get a couple of technician dudes who are sitting here watching this the feed and one guy is just in panic and he tells the other guy you got to go get him now go get him now and the other guy's like what it's the middle of the night I'm not going to wake him up. And he's like, he's going to want to see this. He's going to want to see this now. This is an emergency. And so they sort of panic. And that's as the episode ends. And it's like, oh, so now we're going to get to know who's the man in the night. And obviously there definitely is, you know, a super secret conspiracy behind all the other conspiracies of this being a giant experiment of them being, you know, lab rats in a tube. Who knows what it's really like outside, but... uh Best episode of the season, in my opinion. Love to hear your thoughts. Drop them down below. Like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. See everybody in the next one. Which I'll try to do one of these a week is what I try to do. See you then.